Ancient Egypt was incredibly advanced in science and technology. But despite their intelligence, they still had some absolutely insane beliefs. From breaking noses off statues to kill them, to mummifying cats for rituals. These are the weirdest myths and legends from ancient Egypt. Broken Noses The ancient Egyptians carved thousands of statues in honor of various leaders, priests, and people who had the money for a custom-made piece that depicted themselves. But what's really weird about Egyptian statues is that a massive number of them share something in common. Broken Noses There are so many broken noses on Egyptian statues that it can't just be a coincidence. And researchers have finally found the answer to this strange mystery. Ancient Egyptians thought that these statues were alive and still had power. Now, they knew that the statues weren't getting up in the middle of the night and taking a stroll, but they still believed they were living. And while the Egyptians also knew that the statues weren't breathing air, they would still remove the nose to kill the statue since the nose is the source of life. So why would someone want to kill a statue? It often happened when someone new took power and wanted to make sure that the previous ruler didn't cause any problems. And grave robbers would destroy the statues inside of the tombs they stole from to make sure they weren't attacked by angry spirits. Breaking off the nose wasn't enough for some people. To make absolutely sure the inanimate object couldn't hurt them, they would cut off the arms and legs and sometimes even the statue's head. But if you thought that was weird, you might want to hold off on eating before you hear this next weird myth. Cannibal God The ancient Egyptians worshipped all kinds of interesting gods, and most of them weren't bloodthirsty cannibals who ate human hearts. But the same can't be said for Khonsu. This violent figure was later seen as a friendly fertility god, but to the early Egyptians, he was a nightmarish demon. Khonsu was so notorious for eating hearts that he is written about in the cannibal hymn as well as the coffin texts, where he is described as Khonsu who lives on hearts. And he didn't stop at eating human hearts, he would also eat other gods' hearts as well. If that wasn't enough, Khonsu also holds power over all of the evil spirits on earth. Anytime there was sickness, disease, or injury, Khonsu was the one directing the demons behind the suffering. As the generations passed, Khonsu's reputation softened and people became less afraid of him. Later texts focus more on his ability to increase fertility in people and livestock. And there's even one recorded myth that tells about him helping create the universe, which is a far cry from the blood-soaked monster that he had been depicted as before. Cat Mummies Bastet was one of the most popular gods in ancient Egypt. She was often portrayed as a cat and is associated with the legend of Maftet, the first cat god of Egypt. People came from all over Egypt to worship at her cult center, which was incredibly wealthy and the size of a city. And while traveling to worship at your favorite god's temple wasn't too out of the ordinary back then, Bastet's temple did have a terrifying detail that set it apart from the rest. See, Bastet was a greatly feared god and she had two titles that explain why people were afraid of her. The Lady of Dread and the Lady of Slaughter. And in order to gain favor with this terrifying feline, they brought the mummified remains of house cats to bury in the temple. If a Bastet worshipper lived 100 miles away from the temple and their cat died, they would often make the journey to Bastet's temple just to make sure they weren't cursed. So just how popular was Bastet? Well, when her temple was excavated in the 19th century, researchers uncovered over 3,000 dead cats inside. But as weird as this is, it's got nothing on the Egyptian god who had intercourse with his shadow and vomited up his children. First God According to ancient texts, the first Egyptian god materialized out of water. The original deity was called Atum or Ra and he was lonely. There were no other gods around to procreate with, so Atom had intercourse with his own shadow and created two new gods, Shu and Tefnut. And if that's not weird enough, just wait. Atom was a male god, so after being impregnated by his own shadow, he had to give birth by vomiting up his two kids. Eventually, his kids grew up and went out to explore the world, leaving Atom alone again. And that's when he started to cry and his tears turned into humanity. From there, the Egyptian line of gods is full of incest, murder, and more. But when your religion starts off this crazy, you know you're in for a wild ride. 
And this next weird legend from ancient Egypt is going to blow your mind. Osiris and Set The story of Osiris, his brother Set, and their sister Isis is one of the weirdest legends ever recorded. Osiris and Isis were married and ruled over Egypt together. Everything seemed to be fine, but their brother Set was jealous of Osiris and wanted to take his place. Set managed to take Osiris' measurements one day in secret, and he gave them to a coffin maker to build a coffin that only Osiris could fit inside. Then, Set threw a giant party and revealed the coffin, saying that whoever fit inside of it could keep it as a prize. Osiris immediately jumped inside the coffin and Set slammed the lid shut before tossing it into the Nile River. Then, Set told everyone that Osiris was dead and took over his place as ruler. But Isis didn't want to believe that Osiris was gone, so she went looking for his body to bring him back to life. Meanwhile, Set wanted to prevent this from happening and keep his place on the throne of Egypt. So he cut Osiris' body up into 42 pieces and scattered it all over the countryside. Despite the setbacks, Isis managed to bring Osiris back to life long enough to have a son with him. Osiris went on to rule the underworld, while his son would later take the power from Set and become ruler of Egypt. Rampaging Goddess The sun god Ra was known to be one of the angriest deities in Egypt. One time he got so mad at humanity that he sent his daughter Hathor to brutally persecute every human she could. Unfortunately for the humans, Hathor was remarkably good at harming people. And soon, she had persecuted so many humans that she was walking through lakes of blood. Ra was horrified by what he saw, but this time his anger was gone and he realized how badly he had messed up. He decided to step in and try to save what was left of humanity and devised a plan of action. Hathor was addicted to drinking human blood, so Ra filled up 7,000 jars with alcohol that he disguised as blood. Hathor drank every last drop. By the end, she was so intoxicated that she forgot to do the rest of her job. In ancient Egypt, Hathor became a sort of party god. Every year, Egyptians would make massive offerings of beer to her as a thank you for forgetting her mission and leaving some people alive. Organ Stealing Anubis is one of the most recognizable gods in Egypt, but most people aren't aware of his actual role. He is the god of mummification and is responsible for the creation of mummies. But here's the thing, Anubis didn't just mummify people, he also liked to steal their organs and keep them as trophies. Worshippers of Anubis were known to break into people's graves and steal their hearts, lungs, or whatever else they could grab and use them as an offering. Grave robbers stole so many organs for Anubis that people started putting magic statues in their tombs to protect them. Which leads us right back to the living statue legends we talked about earlier. Okay guys, that's all of the weirdest myths and legends from ancient Egypt, but let us know if you think we forgot any. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any archaeological discoveries. Thanks so much for watching.